Many fans of the Denver Broncos want them to completely revamp their offensive tackles, but the fact of the matter is, Garrett Bowles and Jawan James are likely to be the starters for the next season. There is a need to help their depth at the position, but without needing a starter, that need isn't that great. There are some solid veteran options to be the backup tackle, and here are five of those options. Dennis Kelly got a decent amount of action for the Titans this past season and played relatively well. He allowed a total of 10 pressures in the reps he got, five of which came in the four starts he got at left tackle. He is a veteran tackle that is more than capable of playing either side of the offensive line. With the injury concerns with James, Denver needs a reliable swing tackle option, and Kelly is just that. Former Seahawks tackle George Fant saw reps at left tackle last year and really struggled. His best spot is either on the right side of the line or even at guard, which adds to his versatility. If Denver were to pick up Fant, he could come in and compete for the right guard spot as well as offering up the potential to back up James. One thing is certain though, George Fant isn't a good enough option to play left tackle. Jason Peters is a highly renowned veteran option that has been one of the best left tackles in the NFL for many years. He may also be the most expensive option as well as the least likely option on this list for the Broncos. Peters will likely get money for a one-year deal to be a left tackle for a contending team, making him a less likely option. If Denver could snag him and move him to right tackle, then that would be a huge win. LaRaven Clark has never really developed as an offensive lineman, but he is a solid depth option capable of playing guard and tackle in the NFL. Once again, the versatility is there. Clark is still a young prospect, and maybe working with Mike Munchak can finally get him developed into a solid player. This isn't a great option, but it's not a terrible one either. Jordan Mills struggled this last season in the backup role and hardly saw the field. This isn't an ideal option for the Broncos, but he fits the scheme and likely would be cheaper than most other tackles. Mills is basically a pure right tackle in the NFL, so there isn't much versatility with him, hurting his value as well. Backup tackles can get expensive, and Denver may end up having to go cheaper, which leads to Mills. With the concerns the Broncos have on their line, especially a right tackle, adding a better backup option is a priority. However, they do like one of the tackles Munchak has spent the year developing. For Mile Eye Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.